welcome to Two Minute Tech. Uh, this week we're going to be talking to you about aramid fibres in general. Um, we're going to mention a few and basically what to look out for when buying riding jeans uh, and why one, you know, why one exists versus the other and, and help you make an informed choice. Um, so on that note, traditionally it's been Kevlar and, and that's what and, and people, in fact, the gene, the genre itself is dead. People will come in and ask for Kevlar jeans. Um, by that, they, they necessarily mean riding jeans. Um, but since the, the days of Kevlar, things have moved on quite a bit. Um, so normally, you'll, what you'll find, like in the held crane stretch jean, um, that the Kevlar is lined along the inside of the jean. And I'll show you that here. And that's the yellow stuff here. Now, the beauty of Kevlar is it all, it's, uh, so the, the brand that's normally used and it's kind of worldwide known is Dupont Kevlar, um, trademark brand. Um, I'm not sure if that's exactly what these guys are using, but it's more than likely that it is. Um, it will slide. Now, I don't want to give you precise times because, again, there's so many variables that, that go into it. But roughly you're looking at four to five seconds uh, at 30 miles an hour. Um, and... The downside to Kevlar is that it can, it's quite a thick fabric and it can get very, very hot. Um, and so you'll find most people want riding jeans for the summer, but Kevlar itself is very, very hot and it's actually not ideal for a summer jean. Of course, tr traditionally and over the years, people have just dealt with that because they'd rather be wearing jeans than, you know, leathers or textiles in the summer. And so they just be hot. But as technology has progressed and as things have moved on, uh, there's newer things that have come into the market that fall within the aramid fibre category. Um, so the, the, what's become more and more prevalent in the last couple of years and from different brands and different names and different fabrics, but basically in essence, a single layer gene. And that is where they weave in the aramid fibre to the, sorry, to the um, fabric of the denim itself. So here I've got a section of Armolith, which is a one such type of aramid single layer fabric. Um, they, and you may which have, was in our video, wasn't which it? Which was, I was just going to say, yeah. you may have come across in our uh, Jump Pants video. Jump Pants video. So check that out um, when you get a chance. Um, but yeah, so they even, this was a sample that was given to us by uh, Armolith themselves so that we can show customers and they taunt you somewhat to say tear me if you can they pre-cut it and i've had all sorts of people trying to tear it it's very 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 hard and like it's massively abrasion resistant very very hard wearing and the beauty of it is there's no secondary layer so if i show you the held road duke jeans they're a single layer armolith jean made out of that very fabric um that i just showed you the sample of and so there's no extra lining on the inside they've given an extra bit of kevlar where they haven't used the armor lift where they've got that accordion stretch where armor lift couldn't be used um but the rest of the gene itself is a single layer gene and that's where the, the actual aramid fiber is woven directly into the fabric these are phenomenal because they're very very strong very hard wearing they traditionally can be cut and, and look like normal jeans these look look, look a little bit g-star rawish almost um, in terms of their style and they're able to do that because of the type of fabric being used. Um, one more thing to mention in relation to riding jeans and aramid jeans is some jeans will have, uh, so obviously where it's a single layer, the entire product is gonna be made of the aramid fiber. So you're very, very well protected. Uh, um, but then when you go back to Kevlar, you'll find, for example, in these jeans, there are fully lined Kevlar jean, the held crane stretch. So you have an entire lining, the entire way of the jean backed with Kevlar on the inside. That gets very, very hot. Now to combat that heat issue, as well as I guess manufacturers get to save some cost and then bring the price down on the jean, what a lot of manufacturers also do alongside the full lined jeans is give you jeans that are only lined in contact patches. That is your knees, your, your backside and your hips. But the, the beauty of those is that there's a lot less Kevlar, so it's not as hot in the summer, um, but you are still protected where you're generally most likely to hit the ground within an incident. So that's Kevlar, that's Aramid Fiber Jeans. Um, I will also touch upon, there. these are two brands and two names that I've mentioned. There are others on the market. For example, the PMJ Jeans, which we both love a lot. Um, they use a fabric called Twaron. And again, they line the fabric of the, of the denim 
inside with the Tuaron. Tuaron is a slightly lighter, slightly cooler fabric. So it again, what if you did want a full lined jean for your maximum protection, but and also wanted to have that secondary layer then Tuaron is a, is a fantastic option because it's lighter than Kevlar, it's not as hot as Kevlar, uh, and it will slide for longer than Kevlar. Um, but do your research when you're looking for jeans and look into exactly how it's lined and how the fabric is protecting you because sometimes you'll find a jean that's more about style uh, and more about form compared to function. Uh, and so it's very, very important when buying motorcycle jeans to make sure that you are actually protected. Uh, and then it does give you everything that you need. And also, we're only talking about the fabrics and not the armor itself here in this video today. So there you go, Aramid Fibers.